Now, I don't want to complain, but I don't believe this area has been properly irrigated. I mean, I'm only down here about four feet, and I'm down to bedrock. Now, if you want a nice deep grave, I mean, where I won't get plowed up in the spring, we really ought to try over by the road. Shut up. I'm getting tired of your chatter and your crummy jokes. You act like you're going to a birthday party. We're going to kill you, goofball. Really? Tough luck for me. Got a good joke for you. Gorilla story. This gorilla comes into a bar and orders a drink. Bartender doesn't know what to do, so he goes down the bar and he asks the owner. Now, the owner, he never had a gorilla in his bar before, and he doesn't want his bar to become a hangout for gorillas, but he doesn't want this animal to get angry and tear the place up. So he says, serve him, charge him 20 bucks, maybe he'll go away. So the bartender does. He grabs a gorilla's 20, he says, we don't get many gorillas in here. And the gorilla says, no wonder, look at the prices you charge. <laughs> Great story, huh? <laughs> Keep them coming, Whitey. You're gonna die laughing. Oh, promises, promises. Uh-oh. I'm gonna need that pickaxe. Cover him. Yeah. Now, everybody stand back. I don't want anybody hit by flying rock. As I always like to say, a cautious worker never needs an excuse. of the water in this place is 200 degrees. Huh? Now, I hate to see you get parboiled with the uh, Murdoch sock in your mouth, so uh, why don't you tell us who you're working for and uh, where Hannibal's been taken? <coughs> uh, no screaming, huh? This is a very sedate hotel, and I'd hate to lose my preferred guest standing. Look, look, honest, I, I don't know. Some guy I never saw before gave me 200 bucks to chloroform a bum. He gave me the chloroform. He told me how to use it. Huh. Well, uh, what did this guy look like, William? He was a, he had a big guy, huge shoulders. He had a little head. He weighed maybe 200 pounds, maybe more. Uh, he had a tattoo, uh, an anchor on his arm. Bluto. Yeah. Uh, B.A. If I were you, I'd start talking. Alice! That's what he looks like. The water's just gonna get hotter and hotter. I'm not lying. I promise. I think he's telling the truth, Face. He gave up being tough 20 minutes ago. Okay. Now let's go find this guy and get a line on Hannibal. Bring him. Hannibal, what are you? We've been looking all over for you. Oh, hi, guys. You know what we've been through? Hey, Hannibal, where you been, man? I don't know. But. I made some neat new friends. I met a blue-eyed whale in a sharkskin suit who calls himself Bob and a doctor named Jack who does open-heart surgery with gardening tools. What do you say, William? Who are you? I'm the guy you chloroformed. Jack Daniels was an old geezer, a wino. Uh, Jack Daniels, remain your humble friend. Well, I'll be damned. Well, you were right, Colonel. Christina works for Decker. Mm. How much? 150 grand. She gave it to Jim there. She thought he was you. Then he got picked up by Decker, who also thought he was you. But uh, we broke him out. We thought he was you. But besides saving the wrong man, we were magnificent. Face was hanging on the outside of the van. I was at my invisible station in the front seat. B.A. was driving, and we left Decker upside down cursing. Oh, I'm glad that's over. Yeah, but it isn't. We're going to take Christina's money 
and find out who's been killing my fellow knights of the road. I don't know who chloroformed me or where they took me, but I'm going to find out. I love it, Colonel. Well, I hate it, Colonel. Look, I still owe money on the Excalibur. VA owes money on the reading machines at the daycare center. That's right, man. Oh, come on, guys. It's a chance to get down to Skid Row and party with some real gentlemen. I mean, we got Jim to introduce us, and we got William to show the way. He doesn't even know who hired him. Some 200-pound bald guy with an anchor on his arm. Sounds like Bluto. Just a guy like that on the row. Yeah, big guy. Uh, anchor on the arm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ball-headed. That's the guy. Oh. Where's he hang out? Well, I, I, I've seen him at that uh, Moonlight Mission on 7th Street. Okay. Now, why does Foxy Loxy and Chicken Little run around in a shiny white ambulance, dropping the skin on defenseless winos, and then taking them to a state-of-the-art hospital, charting their age, their scars, the color of their eyes, and then throwing them into a six-foot pit with a sack of lime? Is this multiple choice? I give up, Colonel Why? I think they got a body laundry. I don't think they want the winos, they want the IDs. Bums who went away from society for 10 years, but still, of course, have their birth certificates. I think somebody at the Moonlight Mission fingers the guys who were the right age and the right eye color for the guy who wants the ID. Then they take him to the hospital and they wind up in Boot Hill. And then, later, the guy who wants the ID, with maybe some scars added, turns up at City Hall and says, I've been on Skid Row for 10 years, but I'm cleaned up now. I need a new ID, and the switch is complete. But, uh, why? Money face. You could sell those IDs to wanted felons for 100 grand easy. What are you gonna do with me? Let me go, please. Oh, sorry, Willie. You gotta stay locked up in the bathroom. I hesitate to contemplate what the, the rest of us are gonna be doing. We're gonna open a mission across the street from the Moonlight Mission and run them out of business. Welcome to the Road to Hope mission with that soft-spoken preacher of the road, Father Foley, whose weapons are love and rose water, and his renowned revivalist, Harry Dean Hanover. Say hallelujah! Hallelujah! Sinners, lock your hands and form a circle. We're gonna take stock of things tonight. The Lord is shining on your house, and all you gotta do is let him in. And on the organ and the tambourine, brother Ignatius Blacktop, late of San Quentin, but now committed to the path of glory. I don't like it, Hannibal. Say hallelujah! B.A. Hallelujah. And, uh, where are you going to be, O oh righteous one? On the roof with a ham sandwich and a pair of binoculars, waiting for Lean Jack and Chubby Bob to show themselves. Neat, huh? <laughs>